It's the 20th of July. It's the day after the record breaking temperatures in the UK of 40 point something degrees. Luckily it's cooled down a little bit, but it's still fairly warm. The truck's saying 29 degrees. We're gonna head around the yard. Uh, we've got a client coming out today who's a friend of mine. Um, try and do some robot cooling. Hopefully the rut will have just about started. Uh, if not, we'll do a, a normal stalk later on in the afternoon as it gets later. Hi David. How are you doing? Yeah, good, you're right. Yeah, not bad. Good to see you. A bit and warm, you? isn't it? A bit of a warm one, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A bit cooler than yesterday though. Yeah, definitely. What All okay? It? Yeah, yeah, good, yeah. Good. yeah. What was it down your way? Like 40 degrees, 40.1 40. in yeah. Cambridge. Yeah. Yeah, a bit much, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Good, well, come in the office, we'll have a look at the map okay. and we'll show you what we're going to get up to. Good. Yeah, so good to have you out. So what we usually do with clients is obviously come in the office here um, and just have a quick chat about what we're going to do. So here is a, like, it's quite an old map of the estate, but that's still the, the overall estate. Um, we've got different coloured pins here for different coloured, uh, different things. So we've got um, double high seats, single high seats, some like salt lick blocks. Um, you'll be able to put any food out in different places, just sort of, you know, so you remember where you're doing it all. Um, the BBC app reckons that we've got a southwesterly wind, so probably something like that. Um, so obviously it's the start of the rut and we're going to go out and try and call a few roebucks. So that's why we've met at, what is it, 12 o'clock or 12.30 uh, in the middle of the day. So we're basically going to go around a few places, um, try some calling. If we don't have any luck, then we'll, later on as it gets later, we'll head out stalking properly. Good. All right. So what we're going to do now is we'll get your rifle, get your kit sorted out, yep. we'll head up the range, check zero on the targets. No problem. And then we'll drop out to different areas. Good. Got any questions? Not at the moment, no. no. I think it's just a case of see what the day does and, you know, see how warm it is really. Yeah, um, yeah. But no, I'll, I'll just do as I'm told. Brilliant. Good. Good. Right. All right. Go and grab your stuff. Right. And then we'll head up the range. We'll get going. Cool. Everything you want? Yep. Great. Let's go and have a go on the range. How's everything with work, all right? Yeah, not too bad. Yeah? Busy in the shop? Mm, could be busier. So see out in front, oh, we've got the, the river runs through the middle of the estate there. You see where that grass is actually green. And then everywhere else is pretty much brown at the moment. Yeah, so dry, isn't it? Yeah. So there's our little range. We've got a, uh, oh, a broken rifle there. Yeah, that's clear. What's that, uh, K95? K95 in 308, black edition. Right. With a Srosky Z6 1.7 to 10 by 42 on it. Nice. How long have you had that? Um, about four years. Right. Yeah, they're lovely looking rifles, aren't they? They are, yeah. Nice to handle. Yeah. Are you right-handed? Yep. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, so we've come back to um, 100 yards, obviously, or 100 metres. Um, we'll have a couple of shots here just to make sure it's zeroed. And then we'll have a couple of shots off the sticks, just so you're happy with that as well. Yeah. All right, so if you grab a couple of rounds out, um, stick one in, obviously close it up, it'll be on safe, won't it? Yeah. That's it. If you look down there, um, there's board number two. Yep. Above the top of that, to the right-hand side of it, there's a, a white munchak with a yellow kill zone. Yep. Just stick a couple in the, aim in the middle of that yellow kill zone for both shots and we'll just see where it goes. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's all right. So let's have one more, just to double check. Make sure it's not a fluke. <laughs> just take your time, squeeze the trigger. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, one on top of the other. All okay, right. yeah. So just empty it out. It's quite hot, so we'll just give it a few minutes and then we'll have a couple of shots off the sticks. And then we'll go and have a look at the targets. No problem. Um, right, so obviously you've had two shots off the bench, okay, but we're probably going to be um, shooting off the sticks when we're out and about. So if something's a long way away, I'll carry the sticks. You'll obviously have your rifle. I'll probably put the sticks up like this. Obviously you're going to put the fore end at the front and this bit just behind the, the um, grip at the back. Yep. But if when we're calling, we'll probably just use them as a two. So just set them up at that. Obviously you can swivel all the way around depending on where the, uh, if a deer comes from yep. whatever direction. All right, so for the sake of this, um, close it up, that's it. So just put it in there. Yeah. Sometimes if you try and put the sling around the side, it doesn't get sort of caught up, if that makes sense. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Doug. Obviously, you can swivel it left and right with your finger on the front there. If you need to make it higher, then just lift the sticks up. The legs will come together and it'll be a bit higher. Okay. So for this, we're going to shoot above board one and two. There's a big white roebuck target with a big yellow kill zone. Okay. So just line up on that to start with. Bring them sticks up higher, David. Just pull them up. Keep coming up. You're quite a tall guy. You almost you want to have them sort of almost at upright standing height, really. Is that all right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. You're steady enough on there? Yeah, happy with that. Okay, so when you're ready, just put one in the middle of that yellow kill zone on the roebuck. That's good. All right, so okay. I've got the sticks if you reload. Okay, same thing again, hopefully. Take your time. Yeah, very good. I've got the sticks. Right, what we got then? Right, so we shot at the, uh, the Munt Jack first. Yep. Obviously the yellow circle denotes the, um, the rough kill zone, so up the front legs, half up the body two shots pretty much on top of each other. Um, and then the, the roebuck target, you got two shots within an inch of each other off the sticks. Um, the only thing you've got to remember with those is if you push forward, they go a little bit low. If you pull back when you shoot, they go a bit high. So you've probably just, again, subconsciously push forward um, and they've gone a little bit below the center line, but that's fine. All right, you happy with that? Yeah, happy with that. Right, Good. go and have a look. Yeah, brilliant. basically just have a scout round, see if anything's moving really early. We might be lucky, find a, a buck and a doe that are rutting it early in the afternoon. And after a while we'll come back round to a few places and try and call them. So would the deer be eating the potatoes, Chris, or not? Yeah, they, well, they will do, um, and obviously like, the row and the muntjac aren't going to have a massive impact. Um, I don't think, it's not so much the meat in the tops, it's more when they're like digging up the actual potatoes out of the ground. Right. And obviously, like, you know, with all that greenery there at the moment, you're not going to see the very little amount of damage that they do. But um, the big problem is when they chop those off and then they lay in the ground for a few weeks before they harvest, that's mm. when the deer start, you know, digging them out. and. Again, it's, I don't think, in the grand scheme of things, they don't eat a huge amount, but obviously they dig out a number of potatoes and they just lay there and turn green, and then they can't be used, obviously. Mm. Yeah, so you see the, the maize on the left there, that's suffering pretty bad in the heat. Um, I don't, don't know enough about it, I don't know if it'll ever recover properly or not. Mm. It might start, well, 
stunt the growth. Yeah, certainly, yeah. Yeah, doing some rain. I see there was a, another uh, farm down the road who actually irrigated their maize the other day. Yeah. yeah. So the wind's coming from behind us as we drive along here, David. Okay. Um, there's a quite a big spinny in front of us. Um, we'll just drive around the back of it, come in the bottom corner, and there's an old roebuck, which I've been trying to get for the last few years and haven't had any luck. We'll just have a, a call in the bottom corner there to see if we can get any response from him. It'd be nice to get that one if we can. Okay. Um, if not, we'll... Well, we'll give it 20 minutes, half an hour, calling in there, and then we'll pull out and go somewhere else. Right, you got your gun, you got a few rounds of ammo. Yep. Yep. Some sticks. Um. So what we'll do is we'll go up the other side. Actually, we'll go up this side of the hedge because we'll be in the shade. Um, we'll cut through at the top. We'll go in the wood over there. Just before we go in, we'll just roll our sleeves down, just try and cover up any exposed skin we can. Um, we'll try and find somewhere that's relatively open so we can have a, a call. So if something comes, we've got a little bit of uh, room to shoot if, if we get a chance. Okay. Um, we'll get you set up somewhere against a tree. Um, obviously, I'll stand behind you and just start calling you just stay pretty calm and still. Yeah. Um, if you see something move, then you know don't sort of react too quickly or anything. All right, and we'll have a look and see what it is. Okay. All right. So yeah. you can load up anyway. All right. Cool. Let's go and have a look. Sort of what we were, but obviously the urge to come back because she thinks that's one of her kids calling, you see. But obviously, in that situation, we're maybe at the start of the rut, you've got to expect there might be a buck following her as well. Yeah, and now she's going away, making a right racket, probably clear the whole wood out for us. But she was just sat down in here. And now we're on the edge of this wood, it's just blowing the wind straight into it. We're still on safe, yeah? Yep. Okay, well, we'll just head in and see what the wind does when we're in there. Try 
like that. A little cherry wood call. Just nice and quiet. Just because you don't want to go like full blown loud at the start in case there's anything quite close. So I've been doing that for three or four minutes. So we'll go a bit louder. If you've got a gap through that fence and you can get a shot on the shoulders, then take it. It's going to move off fairly swiftly, I reckon. Good shot. Just picked it up through the thermal. Um, it's quite a big muntjac doe. Obviously we're after the Robux, but if we see a muntjac, we can't really turn it down. Nice, no, nice. No. You've got this old plantation in here with this old deer fence around it. Luckily, it's quite big um, squares of squares, rush, yeah. It. Straight down. Yeah. Good. At least we've got something in there for our trouble anyway. We'll go and have a look. Lovely, good shot. Thank you. Just unload your rifle and we'll have a look at it. Nice. Yeah, so I've got a big old monk jack doe. Shot it just behind the shoulder on the way in. Standing pretty much square on, so yeah, come out on the same place the other side. Yeah. Nice. Good one. Good. We'll nice. get this one, um, we'll get this one gralloped in the wood here. Yep. And then we can keep going on for another one. Okay. Brilliant. Right. right. One down. Hopefully something else to go. It's a bit bright out here. I don't know if that isn't something over there though, along that. Two row out there, you can see it. Where the potatoes have been cut off. Uh, you've got the greenery that goes up the side of the tree belt. Yeah. At sort of two o'clock, if you look out from straight across here, you can see them. Oh yeah, got them. Imagine that's a buck and a die. Yeah. Have to drop this back to the vehicle otherwise the flies will be all over it yeah. and then we'll drive along and head up that belt and see if we can catch up with them. Right. Still two of the four out there. Other two gone through the uh, tree line. Yeah but at least we know there's something up there to go and look for. Some red hinds just going through there. Just one that came out of this little uh, pond to our left. We'll just go in here a few metres and just have a call for a few minutes. Red hind. So 
Christmas wasn't cast this spring. It was cast in the spring uh, 2021. You can see on the end here, look, that's all, um, if that was this year's one, that would look a lot fresher. Right. So it's all worn in and the, uh, the squirrels have started to chew the tips on it. So just lucky it hasn't been chewed up anymore, really. I'll leave this here and come back for it later on. Okay. The dogs will enjoy that. corner of this little tree belt um, there's been a young roebuck hanging around here so we'll just see if we can tempt that one out um, right let's get a close look at it loaded yeah load up yeah you are loaded up yeah cool right let's go and have a look Just coming out of the wood now, David. That's got a little kid with it. Look, just come out behind it. Oh, yeah. The buck doesn't look too bad. I can try and get close to have a better look at it. it might be one to leave, unfortunately. At least we're starting to see a bit more movement again. It's a bit of a breeze. Yeah. He's obviously quite keen to stick with that one. If you just hang on here, I'm just going to pop my head around the corner, just have a look up the edge of this belt. Great look at it, but it did look like a decent six pointer, so probably one we'd have to leave anyway. It's a bit annoying, though, isn't it? Ground, ground's the draw, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Right. We're back, we'll keep looking somewhere else. Yeah, that's a road up there. They're all coming out now though, aren't they? Starting to move around a bit. Right, we'll head down here and then we'll have a look back up that tree belt on the other side is that field of potatoes that was cut oh, off and all the potatoes laying on the ground. So hoping we're gonna see something there again. So that wood up there, that was where we were early this afternoon when we shot that monk jack. So we'll just keep going around the outside of this little spinny. Have a look back up that potato field, see what's out there. It's just probably been watching us do that whole manoeuvre. Yeah, probably. It's definitely a buck. Is it a buck or a doe? Pretty sure it's a buck. Come in here. Come right in here, look, everybody. It's obviously a long way out, but it is coming into the cold. 
I'll get a better look at it. It's in the stubble now. Mm -hmm. it's, it's in the stubble, look. Yeah. The flint buck. See if it comes a bit closer, David. It's like 180. Just have a look. There's 160 there. Oh, so bullet's going to drop about an inch, inch and a bit. So rather than halfway up the body, just go two thirds up the body. Yeah. Make sure we're aiming like on the shoulder, yeah? Not behind it. Now 150. Can you see him there, David? It's laid there in the margin. Went straight down. Yep. So if anything, you might be a little bit high on it. You know, it might have just tickled the spine or something. But it's not moving. So it looks okay, but what we'll do, we'll just head straight towards it. Um, just be ready with the rifle in case it does start thrashing about or okay. tries to get up, all right? Then no problem. Cool. Let's bring the mag down a bit. Can't see any chest movement at all. Good. Looks okay. Good, yeah, like we said. Uh, we know it's dead, but obviously, just check the eye. Yep. Yeah, just hit it a bit high. But, uh, you know, it was a good good long shot, mm. laying off the old leg bipod. And um, yeah, done a good shot there. Well done. Good. <laughs> it was a bit of an effort for that, wasn't it? Was well, a bit, yeah. Cool. So, yeah, sort of fairly young four-point roebuck. Um, nothing really wrong with him as sorts, but by this age, I mean, sort of like, you know, good two-year-old, um, maybe three. Um, you know, you'd want him to have, like, points coming on the back. But, yeah. And also, he's got quite upright antlers, so we're trying to shoot any that are really narrow and get them going wider. Oh, dear. So, yeah, good one to take. <clears throat> good. Um, and I think, you know, I think you definitely... Uh, we were down in the bottom over there when we sort of tried to squeak that other one that went back across the dough. Yeah. And I reckon he must have been just sat on the edge of that maze up there. And um, that just got his attention a little bit. Because we were sort of half interested as we started squeaking down here. Mm. Um, but yeah, obviously we tried a few places and not getting a lot of reaction. So although like there's bucks with does and sometimes a bit of movement, you couldn't really say the rut's on if you know what I mean but probably tomorrow morning it will be. Yeah. <laughs> when, when you're not here. Yeah, just my luck. Yeah, so, uh, yeah good. Good, hard right. one. Hard one. Yeah, it was, Road yeah. Road that. Yeah, there's your shot. Just hide that. Yeah. But no, it's good. Perfect outcome though, he's, he's, yeah. he's dead, so. Nice young buck and good one for the freezer. Yep. Right, well, it's now 8.30, so. I don't know about you, but considering we started at two o'clock. Yeah. Well, well before that, wasn't it? Like, it, Tw well, half 12, 12 one, 12, wasn't it? 12, 30, yeah. Um, yeah, 
I think we'll call that a night. Definitely. Get them sorted out. Good. Back to the larder. Back to the larder. Yeah. Good. Back, back home for some dinner. Yeah, definitely. Brilliant. Right, we'll just leave it down here on the track and we can pick it up. Yeah. Hopefully it'll be a bit of a cooler evening tonight. Fingers crossed, yeah. Nice to get some sleep for once. Yeah. Good. <laughs> good. Mate, see you. Yeah, Thanks good to see you again. Cheers, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks and um, yeah, just give us a shout see when you, you want to come again. Yeah. All right. Cheers, Thanks David. See you, see you, mate.